You should be angry. You should yell at the whole restaurant. No, no. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Let me be! <laughs> Are any of these questions be interesting to you? Tom, do something. <laughs> that jackass is making a mockery of our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> you're all, you're all gaffing. David, let it go. Thing on me that's great. I'm you know. almost done. <laughs> go ahead. Enjoy. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'll take a salad up front. Italian Thank you very much. Sounds good, right? Until Ed gets here. And have some cereal. <laughs> I'll have this side. <laughs> I have active glands. I'm going to have the marinara shells with. Uh, yeah, with uh, some. Barney Spice sauce. <laughs> Dave and I were talking about this on the walk over here that... I think we can share it with them. I think we can. <laughs> you, just stop me if I'm going too far, okay? <laughs> that it seems to the audience when you watch Saturday Night Live that you guys have fun working together. And then when I meet you guys, it's like it's really true. And that's... It's great to see that. And you guys were friends before. Right. Uh, Adam and I were friends and Rob Schneider. We were all stand-ups. We all lived right around each other out in L.A., down the street from each other. Then when we got to the show, we met Crazy Farley. <laughs> and then we all, we all, it's like being in camp, you know? We all hang out and have fun, go out together, hang out all the time. So do you try to um, come up with sketch ideas that enable you to work together and have a good time together? Yeah, we also, like if you write the other guy in something, you make sure it's a funny part, you try to. <laughs> I go around when these guys are oh, tremendous writers and I go around and just bother them. Yeah, sometimes I put in my two cents. Not often. Sometimes, no. Most of the time I just go around the writing room and uh, bother people that are writing like I do fat guy in little coat to David when What's he's writing. What's fat guy in little coat? He's just writing away and I go, David, look. Yeah, I know, fat guy in little coat because I put on his coat and I go, no, it's different this time. <laughs> So you come out, we're writing, and I go and knock stuff off their desk. And <laughs> do you like count how many minutes you are in the show? I mean, no, is no, it no. a. Do you, but do you want. I mean, it's, it's like. like being funny. Yeah. What Sometimes it's, it's better if you do a little part and you're killing it and you're in and out, you know? If you're out there and you kill a little part and then all of a sudden you're dead, you, you die, you look at it as dying. It's better to go in, kill, and get out. I can just do one thing. That's all we want, usually, most of us, is one thing that you can focus on that's yours, like an update piece or one sketch where you're the kind of the main guy. What about, and you don't have to name names, but who, like what? Adam. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nervous hosts, how do you, do, I mean, how, are they sometimes just terrified? Most of them are, whether they say it or not, they're all usually, because for anybody, for any of us, even when I was on for like two minutes my first time, it was horrible. What's so horrible about it? It's forever. You know, it's live TV. But and when you screw up, it's it's just there's a rerun no matter what. And for the rest of your life, it's going to be seen. And if you make a mistake, it just there's no taking it back. So what are some? Where have you screwed up? What are some of your screw ups? Have you screwed up yet? I I have. So sometimes you slur your words, and then after you say it while you're doing the rest of the skit, all that's going through your head is like, oh my god, I couldn't even pronounce that word before, and that's right. just running through your head over and over. You know, like uh, anyone that screws up, they hear about it. Nobody lets anything slide. It's all fair game if you're there. Right. Is that in everything or rehearsals? Well, just or with being funny. We like when, when you're with other people, you're with your friends, and you say a joke, and it's not that funny. Your friends give you a mercy, you know. Oh, right. Uh -huh. But uh, so we, because we're always trying to be funny. If you're in the midst of saying a joke or something, you sometimes you slur a word or something like, like that bread is uh, nice, and everyone goes bread. <laughs> <laughs> you go bread. Uh, and then I think when the audience get, likes it better when we have fun with it, you know, if we just sit there stale doing our lines, uh, they're not. But, but but there's a fine line. Like we can't. Like sometimes we go too far. And like I'll turn to like Adam or David, and like I'll try to make them laugh. Like I'll go, I'll deliver a line like this, um, so the audience can't see, you know, and my eyes are crossed and like going, oh, is that right? Well, I talked to Belizima, you know, and then he's like oh, Belizima, you know. All right. I've got a question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. David is going through my questions and editing them. Okay. Chris, truth or dare? 
There you go. Oh, that looks good. I heard they Santa, can I start? Yeah, see, it's just shells and marinara. I know, this has but so Auntie, much garlic in it. But there's too much chicken in there, you know? We can't What'd you it. order? Uh, tortellini. Mm. We can't feed the, we don't feed the writers until they write something good for us. <laughs> <laughs> How old is everybody I, here? I, I'll say my age first, 28. 30. 29. 27. 27. So, so you, okay. these guys are babies. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I just turned 30. Well, no, when? No, you Pisces? February 15th, Aquarius. February 20th. Really? Mm. Ketchup, ketchup on potatoes, Barley taught me that. It tastes mm. good? I, well, I guess know. it's like french fries. Maybe. Tonight's my first time doing it. I'll put oh, it on you're right, it's french fries. It's gonna oh, work, okay. I feel it. I do. I know I like Diet Coke just for laughs. Barley's gonna do it too. And I'll have another cranberry, please. A little mm. lemon. You taught me this in the joint. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> hey. Barley knows every, everything about the old Saturday Night Live. I love that. They were my idols, you know? <clears throat> Belushi, Murray, Aykroyd, those guys are there, you know? So, Chevy Chase, I love them. So did you watch it? You, like you watch it every Saturday night? I mean, even mm -hmm. then, were you into comedy? Did you know that's what you wanted to do? Yeah, I do it, and then I watch it, and then try to imitate them at school the next day. Who, were your, who was your, like, idol? Who was your favorite one, or your favorite sketch, or your favorite character? Belushi, and um, you know I love the Blues Brothers. I love Aykroyd's E. Buzz Miller. <laughs> right, the guy's name is Thidian. Thidian, I swear to God. So I stole it and put it in the bear skin. <laughs> Good eye, David. Look. Uh, you study. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is off. this? Here's what I always say at the end. Take it off. <laughs> What are you doing? Seriously. Cindy told me to. No, he volunteered. We're all on Saturday Night Live, and, and people uh, say, hey, man, you're on Saturday Night Live. Well, well, maybe something good's going to happen to you. You know, you're going to get in the movies or something. Nobody nobody is uh, satisfied just because so many people move on from Saturday Night Live and, you know, become huge movie stars. No, nobody's satisfied with just being on being Saturday Night Live. Yeah. But are you satisfied being? I, um, my biggest concentration is to try to be funny on the show, you know. I mean, That's total priority. Originally, you just, I mean, to do stand-up or whatever, or Second City, though, the best thing you can do if everything goes in your your way is to get on Saturday Night Live. So once you get there, we just try to do it, you know, as best we can every week. Sure, if in the summer we can do a film or something, but we also know the show's not going to have us forever. Right. So you got to kind of think ahead, well, I'll do whatever I can here when, then when I'm done. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to do a movie or something. And I always want to do stuff with these guys forever, you know? I just like being, I get, I, I'd rather be with people I know and I trust. And I told you before, these guys are, uh, Schneider I think is a really good writer and stuff. I just like being around people I know. <laughs> Cindy was dogging you, man. <laughs> Why are we done it? You were finally no, opening up. playing the little violin. Okay, guys, let's go. All right. Let's go, little Farley. You don't like it, I can't have it. Got a rice.